In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make four options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created these four rectangles where it is going to hold the information or the data. And when I click, the first information comes onto this placeholder column. You can see here uh, where I've added the option one and you can add your detailed text. And if you have icons, you can add the icons here. And below I have added the shadow effect. Then comes the option two with a different gradient color Then option three and option four likewise i have created few more uh, slides where i have just changed a little bit you can see here i've just cut this part and i've put the option in the black color you can see here this is option three and option four and then you can give some kind of a shadow effect also you can see here i've created some shadow effect so whichever way you like you can use this particular slide or the presentation so let's see how to do this in powerpoint Add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill color. So in this case, I have used white and aqua color combination. Then go to insert shapes from the rectangle. Select the second one, which is the rectangle rounded corner. Draw maybe this much size. You can see here and make it less curved by dragging this orange point outside. And shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill. You can give any color. Let me just give a gray color then I can change this to white. So I'm just going to make it align center, align middle. Then I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D to duplicate this. And then I'm going to give some lighter color or white color. You can see here again, I'll put it exactly on the top. And then I'm just going to reduce the size. You can see here, I want to reduce the size till here, you can see. And then I'm going to add one more rectangle now. In this case, I'm going to use the first one. Draw this rectangle. You can see here. I'm going to draw this much. Make sure that it is properly equal spacing given. And then the white rectangle I'm going to select. Hold the shift key. Select the blue one and under format merge shape you can just do a subtract so you end up getting like this shape you can see here then right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to give a this one offset bottom shadow effect and this color also i'm going to just change this to white so it looks something like this this also should be white so it is not visible let me just change it for the meantime so that you know exactly what i'm trying to do now i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to give some gradient fill for that let me just select the gradient fill here and the direction i'm going to select this one the uh, the dark part should come down so first of all i'm going to select the one stop colors more colors for example i'm going to standard Maybe I'm going to give some green color and here I'm going to give some light green color. You can see here or fluorescent color, whichever color which best you can see here. Let me just change the direction. I want the green to be on the bottom and hold the shift key and just reduce the size. You can see here. So if I put it here, if I just send this to back, it should look something like this. You can see here and this one also i can make this to white so our one basic frame is ready now it's time to add the text the options and the the detailed text here to add the text go to insert text box i'm going to type option 01 or enter key 01 you can see here make it a uh, center align i'm going to use the font oswald and this zero one i'm going to select and increase the size you can see here something like this you put it here and if you want you can just change the color to white and give some shadow effect for this if you feel that the white is not visible then in that case you can make it a black also it's up to you and then i'm going to add the detailed text i'm just going to add one text box equals lorem within bracket one again i'm going to center align make the font as white century gothic i'm going to use the font reduce the size you can see here 
and you can just add your text something like this and if you have the icons you can go to insert and you can add the icons if you don't have the icons you can ignore or uh, you can sp uh, leave the space like this and then once this is done i'm just going to add a shadow effect so before adding the shadow effect let me just select this the detail text and the green gradient fill press ctrl g to group it and again format just say send to back then go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape at the bottom you can see here shape outline make it no outline and this also i'm going to select the gradient fill and the type i'm going to make it radial and direction i'm going to select from center so here this one i'm going to make it a black color the here the other one stop i'm going to select the background color and make it fully transparent you can see here this also you can increase the transparency level a little bit then go to effects under soft adjust increase the size you can see here you got the shadow effect so what i'm going to do i'm just going to select this move this side here you can see here press ctrl d i'm going to add one more so four i'm going to add and then i'm going to select all and then align it properly in the slide then this becomes two this becomes three and this becomes four and then you can select individually one by one and change the color according to your requirement for example i want to use some uh, blue maybe a dark blue here a dark blue here and on the top i want to make some light blue color you can see here something like this so it's up to you how which color you like to use you can just change the color according to your requirement now let's do the animation so go to the animation tab enable the animation pane i'm going to select this one and just say fly in fly in make it from top you can see here from top it comes something like this double click this you can increase the bonds and a little bit and click ok so it comes something like this so i'm just going to select this one double click the animation painter click on this you can see here how it comes and press the escape key now let me just play it comes something like this so it's easy you can use any text or any information you can add on this particular rectangles that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye